Hello and welcome to Dimp Digital's review of IT. This is the 2017 film that has been recently released and is based on the novel by Stephen King. You've got myself apps here and I'm joined by our movie magpie, Tom Adkins, not Adcock. How you doing? How you doing? I'm not too bad. A bit on the snivelly side. Yeah. And probably got post Destiny 2 blues because I've had to drag you away from that, which I know has been an addiction for all of us yes. since its release. Um, but it's, it's nice to chat and do something else other than Destiny 2 because it seems yep. to be consuming people's lives. Um, okay, so it. Now, yes. as I said, it's based on Mr. King's novel, which was released in 1986. Uh, have you read the book? I have not, unfortunately. One I'd like to. Very but... long. Very long. I, I found an audible version of it online. Yep. Said it was around 46 hours long to listen to. Just shy of two days for Lord <laughs> King. Cool. Um, there was actually another, a, a TV miniseries, which I think you said they've released as a film in one go now, essentially. But that, yep. was, um, that was back in 1990. That. You've watched that one. Um, I watched that the other day. Do you want to know the score for that one quick? Yeah, let's do it. As I say, what do you think of it? I thought it was trash. <laughs> Apart from it, the clown, Pennywise's mm. performance, the rest of it was absolute dog shit. I gave it a whopping 36. <laughs> oh, curry. Poor bastard. Yeah. So it wasn't, wasn't very good, was it? No. So, it was it, it? was a very, like, a television... It was Canadian, I think. I think it was like mm. a Canadian uh, television movie that they sort of done, yeah, like miniseries that they put together. I think it was only two episodes, I think, both about hour and a half each long mm. but yeah it's just sort of long winded out shit acting obviously it's very dated now so that probably went on my score probably quite yeah. good CGI back then but now it just looks piss poor <laughs> they, they actually tried to use some sort of technology in it today yeah yeah there's some like sort of stop motion oh. and stuff it looks a bit weird on the on some of the uh, the monsters um, but Pennywise is quite good probably was quite it's not scary now it's the only thing yeah, yeah, so I think. Like going, yeah, I can imagine at the time that would be interesting yeah. to watch, but definitely nowadays, in comparison to what people have seen, it's not. It will it will not offer a lot. Um, so a whopping thirty six yeah. of the nineteen ninety TV movie, whatever they ended up doing. It's, it's registered as a mini series, but like you said, I think they gelled it all together. Yeah. Um, at the moment, the, the, yeah, that's gelled all together as one f- feature-length film that's yeah. on for about three hours. So that's that's getting thirty-sixes, and then yeah. My next question is, what on earth is? Why is it this time around getting a sniff out you? If the mm-hmm. one of the source I, materials, not the source material, but a take on it, you didn't enjoy? Was it just that you liked the idea of it and just didn't like the execution? Yeah, I, yeah, I think it is. I think like obviously, I think that film is renowned for being a bit shit. <laughs> but I think the um, the clown Pennywise has become such a sort of pop culture sort of legend, you know, up there with Freddy Krueger, Jason. Sure. Then one you always would say that Pennywise the clown is up there with the scariest ones. Yes. I think he's carried it, old Tim Curry. Yeah. He's yeah. carried it, and uh, yeah, I think they've obviously we've had the rise of remakes. Seem yeah. to be doing well, didn't they? Especially in the horrors. Yes. And the yeah. wings and Texas chainsaws and all that malarkey. So they had a they've done this and um yeah. We're gonna discuss it. <laughs> we, are, we are indeed. Before we start, I think yeah. it would be silly of us not to mention that we actually watched this Oh in, yes. Um This actually affects my score as well. I'm gonna give two scores. Ah, I was, yeah, <laughs> I did I did wonder what you was going to do with that. Um, yeah. so that's interesting to know. Yeah, so we watched it in four DX. So yeah. for those that don't know what it is, it's essentially there's some effects going on around you in the cinema. So the chair will slightly move as the camera pans, um it'll blow air on the back of your ear to simulate something whistling past your head it'll spray little bits of water on it when the scene is wet it'll rumble the chairs when things are hit so there's a lot of other stuff going on um i think that 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 does have an impact on on the film for me personally i felt like it um it kind of broke some of the immersion or some of the tension in it because yeah I was my other senses were being blasted with all this kind of you know other stuff going on, um, but I mean, did it did it impact you 
Negatively or positively is what I should um, be asking. For me, it was positive. I really okay. did enjoy it. I thought it. I thought it made it feel immersive. I'm with you on by about the first couple of scenes when it was sort of yeah, as atmospheric and you sort of had that bit of suspense. You didn't know what was coming, and then all yes. of a sudden the chair starts to move, and you're thinking, "Oh, hello." Yes. It's, uh, that that helped, and I thought it worked brilliantly with uh, horror film. I heard that they'd done it as well. The, they had that Baby Driver film. Yeah. Apparently the thing never stopped moving the whole way through the film. <laughs> Real <laughs> so, motion sickness. Yeah, exactly. So this, I can see, a suspense horror film. Mm-hmm. See it working really well with this. But yeah, like I say, I do enjoy it. However, by the sort of three quarters way through the film, my ass was as numb as dumb. <laughs> And I was sick to death of being chucked about. I was like, right, get me off of this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I, I, I think I enjoyed the overall experience more mm. as in going to cinema, but I just feel like I wasn't as, I don't know, concerned mm. with what was going on, on the screen. I wasn't, I'm normally a very jumpy person. I think only once I jumped. Yeah. There's loads of stuff that normally would make it, but because the chair was fucking rattling and it was distracting <laughs> me slightly, that was right. all. But yeah. I, quite, I kind of quite yeah. like would do it, to do it again and actually do a few more films in 4 Yeah, I think yeah, it's definitely. got some potential for a film that, sorry, go on. That you said, mm-hmm. liked it more than 3D. Yeah, I did, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I think 3D is a real waste um, at least this added something to the experience yeah. um, and made the overall you know, uh, night there more enjoyable for me. Yeah, um, it, more of an event, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly, absolutely. Um, so looking at it, yes. high level, what do we make of this? Is it in? Are we talking good? Are we talking bad? Are we talking mediocre? Let's get the thermometer out there. I think it's uh, in between. I suppose it's good. It's a good film. It's it's nothing groundbreaking. It's not the best horror film you've ever seen. No. There's nothing intuitive about it. Um, you know, it's not like. Have you seen? I don't know if I class it as a horror film, but um, that Get Out was it this year or last year? Mm, I haven't yeah, seen it. No, uh, seen it. That's a phenomenal phenomenal horror film. Yes. I don't know if you class it as a horror film, but anyway, that is. This is good. A good watch, worth watching, but not groundbreaking. I enjoyed it because of the characters. Well, I say the characters, a character I really enjoyed. Right. <laughs> well, the main, I liked Pennywise. I thought it, the, the geezer that portrayed him was quite good. Yes. But like, it was, he took his own spin on it. It's very different from uh, Tim Curry's version. Yeah, I mean, Curry's version, he kind of. Although you know he's an evil bastard, he's got this kind of charm to him mm. when he's when he's talking. Whereas um, the portrayal given in 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 the 2017 this one, he's just menacing. Um, mm. I can't pronounce Bill's surname. I know oh, it's, it's Scar's got Scar Scarguard. Oh, sounds like saying Cat Witcher Three. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> old Gerald here. But yeah, um, he's yeah. definitely a lot more menacing in in, in this. How did you find the kids like, as a collective group? Yeah, I mean, typically uh, you can really get a stinker when you're dealing with children. I do, to yeah. act, but... I'm not a fan of children in films. <laughs> well, I should hope not. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I thought in this, in this, in this area, with, with it, I thought they were superb. Yeah. Um, I thought they were, they were all really, really good. Um, yeah. They, Stand they, up performance from one young Finn Wolfhard, is it? Yeah. Wolf, I mean, Wolfhard, lad from Stranger Things. He was a brilliant character. I really liked him. Yeah, going um, places, I would say. Thought he should have been the lead, if I'm honest, out of the group of kids. Yeah. Is that only because he's been in Stranger Things, though? I reckon it probably is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we hadn't seen him before. That, no, that's true. But I didn't warm to that main one as much, you know. No, I no. thought. Well, you know, I know he's the main one, but give it to him because he's like cooler and funnier. So could he be the leader? Yeah. But um, no, they made it. I thought they, it definitely. Like, we've I've read through the the synopsis of the book, so I know the story. Obviously, yeah. what the original thing. So I, th- I think they've done a a very good uh, adaptation of it. Um, yes. Questionable on some of the CGI scenes. I thought that, yeah. Yeah, especially the first one, I thought. Obviously, no spoilers, but one, yeah, yeah just the first sort of CGI up scene, I was a bit like, hmm. Not good it enough. was quite a low budget, wasn't it? Uh, 
35 yeah. million if that's low. Well, <laughs> I don't be knowing what they spend, but it's, it's fucking done, done well at the box office at 371. Yeah. Heck, all right. So, yeah, that was one gripe, I'd definitely say. Some of the CGI was a bit questionable. Mm. Um, acting seemed okay. Yeah. 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 You happy with that? What Lem- about... You know, say length. <laughs> Dirty great bit of length. Yeah. So it sits at one three five minutes. Over so the two hour allowed. Not for a horror film for me, so <laughs> a little bit too long. If you look at some of the absolute greats, you're looking at one thirty. Yeah. yeah. That's where you wanna be. No, not one thirty. <laughs> one point three, I mean. Yeah, so an hour nine, and a half. Ninety moment. minutes. That's what you want from a horror film. I don't want to be sitting here being suspense for two hours. It's Come stressful. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I'm sure yeah. you get chucked about as well. <laughs> yeah, it's not ideal. Yeah, I felt like there was certainly parts in it where it was a bit slow. Mm. Um, and it's odd. I felt like it was a little bit... It was strung together a bit strangely. I, it was. There, would, there would be like an incident with one of the kids where they would, you know, have a terrifying moment and then it would cut to like the next day and they'd all just be out having a yeah. laugh with their mate. It, it, it wasn't until they all kind of realise what was going on then they yeah. they kind of yeah. start acting like you would expect them to act but they didn't seem like anything was bothering them up until they were still laughing having a joke and whatnot. but if something like that happened to me I would be I don't know if I'd leave the house yeah yeah no I definitely think I'm on that it sort of um, required you to sort of know more of the backstory you sort of at least have a knowledge of what's going on mm. some of the little nods and stuff you sort of relied on it yes you think hmm well, what about the newcomers that have never heard of it? No, it. not heard of it. Just looking up there. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. I, I there's a few bits I didn't think it was at all perfect, and probably the running time was a little bit long. But then you've you look at that source material and you think, right, <laughs> got yeah. to make cuts here, otherwise it's going to be fifty hours. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, looking at the, the the earlier version, was was it scene for scene similar? I know the timeline's a bit messed up in the original because it's it's yeah. following the books where it's you know going between back and forth between their kids and adults, and presumably um, this is going to be the first instalment of two, so um, it only covers the the section of the the kids kind of experience. Yeah. Um, but from what you saw of the the mini series or the or the nineteen ninety version, was it? close to that or did they deviate away and take liberties in certain it's areas sort of weird they sort of start off on sort of word for word copying mm. and then it will deviate and then it will come back to scenes again where it's yes. word for word they sort of took little parts i even saw like a comparison video on youtube and they they're literally panning and cutting away at scenes at the exact same point really running oh, together wow. yeah it's quite weird um but yeah they sort of like i say they do that then cut away do their own little spin, have a couple of scenes, and then, but they have made some subtle changes as well that you will see with characters as well. Yeah. Um, so they're definitely making the film their own. Yes. Another thing I would mention was the uh, rather quite good soundtrack. Yes. <laughs> Give that a little nod. There were some bangers on there. Yes. It's uh, important to have not only a good soundtrack, but also good sound design around the tense moments. Yeah. Because um, that can add significantly to a jump scare or a moment of tension um but yeah um yeah. Any, anything else you want to mention on the old it film that we haven't covered uh, no i think pretty much is there pennywise is scary shit gave yeah. me a nice nightmare the next well, night <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna bring this up i mean we mentioned how scary it was us i i, I it hasn't. I've not really thought about it since. So it's one of those ones that hasn't quite affected right. me. But you had a nightmare the very next yeah. night about Pennywise in the garden. That night, absolute, <laughs> sitting there watching me through my patio windows with did his he, little balloon. Did he say anything? Or did the balloon no, as well? Just, just looked at me and I was like, good, right, what's that? And then it woke me up and I thought, oh, fucking hell, Bebbin. Could, 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 could be him for weeks of this time. <laughs> this thought. torture. Terror. Did it in in the film? Was you was it? Did it feel like a scary film? At, at first, did um from the trailers, I thought he looked quite scary. Um, there's like a thing. There's like a, in the trailer. There's a scene where he sort of comes up out of the water, and he looked. Yeah. I thought, oh, if it's like this the whole way through, that's gonna shit the life out of me. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, when you first sort of see him, you're sort of like, oh, that's that's a bit underwhelming. Yeah. Um, there's a few scenes in there that he does look quite scary, but you you see quite a lot of him. And I've, I've said this with many a film, especially horror films, they're always scarier when you don't see them. Mm-hmm. Number one, Jaws, the greatest yeah. horror film of all time. Greatest you don't see that time. bastard. Yeah. You don't uh, see that bastard and it makes it scary. So, yeah, when you see this one, you're like, oh, right, yeah, see him again. But, yeah, I think we're coming into our official grading for there we it. go. 2017 so mr atkins what and obviously you've got two scores to give here so do you want to go with whatever you feel like yes i'll tell you what i'm gonna give this i will give it on its own i will give it a 68 percent out of 100 cool (laughs) yes covenant levels (laughs) yeah isn't it it's a bit slightly higher than covenant yeah what a covenant get again i can't remember they got 60 so it's got ah, eight, right, eight yes. mark. So it's eight knocking, mark. it's knocking. Um, what's it mark. called? The, it was knocking the seventy mark. Yeah. But, but like what you just said, other than him giving me a nightmare, it hasn't been on my mind. No. You know, like we mentioned with, uh, did we pick Dunkirk? You were thinking about that for years yeah. on end. Yeah, but this, well. <laughs> well, years on end, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but, World um, War Two binned. Destiny Two's come out. It's all been forgotten about. <laughs> We've got a new war on our tail. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm going for a 68 with this. Yep. And then I say watching this in 4XD bumps it up to a 72. Excellent. So it makes the 70s with that. So if you get an opportunity then, you're advising go to the 4 4 x version. personally would say, yeah, if you've never done it before, definitely go for the 4XD version. Yes. They make it... it was they it is i really want to know who maps this in is it the studio or is it yeah the, the cinema? Something, it maybe that'll be the two-week obsession we'll have trying to figure out how they do yeah, it the studio that's right. and, who, and who does it but yeah certainly an interesting bit of technology especially in the cinema yeah um, it was just the fact that every little lightning break there was a flash every yeah. little wind there's a bit of wind i'm thinking who's mapping that in surely it's yeah. not alan up there in control <laughs> yeah he, <he's, laughs> surely not he's got a alan, popcorn at five and then this, now he's mapping in these alan's trying to map in how he could have made this two films and charge double for it but they, yeah. they went, went, get away alan um, <laughs> well, excellent yeah. they're the Thanks. scores they are the scores so this is part of a planned Duology, so there's going to be a second film. Yeah. Um, interested in seeing that again, or would you uh, hang old interested. Pennywise up and say, I don't want you in my garden anymore, mate? No, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy <laughs> to fuck off out my garden. <laughs> um, I am interested to see what they do with the second one because it's not going to be a continuation of the character, well, of the actors. Mm. So it would be interesting to see who they replace them with. Um, yes. But yeah, obviously seeing the watching the first thing, I sort of already know what happened. So it'd be interesting to see if they take a different tie, tone with it. And yeah, it, that's an interesting kind of little side point you raised there. You you knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Did that positively or negatively offend you? Because on, from the outset, I I didn't really I kind of knew roughly what the storyline was, but I didn't know what actually took place in the yeah. universe. And my initial thought, if I thought about this just, you know, you went, what do you think of that? If I, if I knew what was going to happen, it would kind of ruin it slightly, but I, I'd be interested here if that's actually the case, because obviously people yeah. who've read the books will know everything, and they they will, could potentially still enjoy this. Yeah. Yeah, that was quite true. Up until the first couple of scenes, I was like, right, I know what's coming, and it did mm. take away that sort of suspense thing. And then there was another scene later on where they changed something that I knew. I thought, yeah. I was thinking I, was, I knew something about character, and that yeah. completely changed. I was like, "Oh, hello, it's put me back on guard again." Yeah. So there's scenes that you do know that at the end, and that that does take away. I think. Yes. Yeah, but they had, like I say, they have made subtle changes. So yeah. hopefully they'll continue with that to throw people off guard. Yes. But then they could get the old fanboys going, no, you've changed it. You've the- ruined King's <laughs> novels. <laughs> Dear me. It's been summed as the greatest King film adaption. Not difficult. 
No. Um, some of the trash that they've done yeah. for him. I mean, we had, what do we have? The Dark Tower lately. That has been oh, yeah. panned. Slammed, isn't it? Yeah, well, that sounds like a bit of a disaster. Um, He's carrying mis- Yeah, Misery. That's good. That's a good one, yeah. I still um, and but... if, you, if you liked the, the kind of coming of age pieces in this particular film, yep. Stand, Stand By Me is excellent. Uh, um, that's definitely worth a watch. I'm sure, Shank. I always forget that's him. Wow. Mm. Yes, uh, oh, oh, Green Mile. Bloody Nora. So how can you compete with that? Well, maybe it was horror films. King horror films. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. I don't know. He's written that out there. Yeah. Empire? No, nah, I've just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. No, it was, it's a good watch. It's worth going to see at the cinema. I think. Yeah. More of a cinema film than a DVD film, to be honest. You'd be disappointed if you spend 15 quid on the Blu-ray. Yes. Actually, yes. you've got to pay 15 quid to get to the cinema these days, so do what you want. Yes. <laughs> do what you want, it's your money. <laughs> so, yeah. But Just don't that. let Pennyworth, and you, Pennywise in your Tip. garden. Cause it, or will, it will get you. It will get you. Yeah. Excellent. All right, mate. Well, thanks right. very much for that. Um, well. Everyone else listening or watching, thanks very much for your time. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Ta-da. Ta-da.